Um, when I try to focus on my sin and just um, ask God and just become aware, you know, especially my projections onto women and stuff like that and, and other stuff which yep. I'm unaware of. Yeah. But I just feel so awful and it's really hard to stay with and... I often think, well, I think I need something to eat now, or <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. So when God tries to share with you God's feelings about what you've done, you feel awful, mm. and then you use other techniques to avoid the feelings. That's that's what I want to do, and that's what I mostly do. Yep. Often do I? You know, it's hard to stay with it for very long. It seems. So what's the question? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, um, but, but just staying with that in that space um, of, you, of feeling awful. Can you see the reason why you don't want to stay in the space? Because, it fe because, because I feel awful? No, it's because you don't want to feel awful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you see? Like, yeah, yeah, I do. For so, sure. so what I would do is I'd say, look, I don't want to feel awful. Mm. Like, remember, right, uh, way back in the first two days, we 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 have to see what we want. We have to be honest about what we want, and most of us don't want to feel awful. That is the truth. We don't, mm. and it's a choice to not feel awful that turns off what God's trying to tell us most of the time. Mm. Like, so we're making a decision in that moment to not feel awful because we, we, don't, we, you know, we don't feel we can cope with the feeling. Mm -hmm. so, so obviously you don't want to feel the feeling, right? So, so this is where you need to allow yourself to go, okay, firstly I need to develop an aspiration to feel the feeling before I'm going to feel the feeling. So it's one thing to ask God for the truth, quite another to receive it and then have to feel the feelings about it. And then say to God, well, I don't want to. If that's what the truth is, I don't want to feel it. <laughs> you know, we're basically, it's sort of like, it's like the aspiration or the desire to, the prayer to God is not really fully sincere yet, is it? Can you see? Yeah. Because it, cause really what we're doing is we're saying, God, please tell me what I need to know. And then we start feeling awful. And God's already starting to tell us what we need to know there. And so what do we do then? We go, no, I don't, want to, I don't want to feel awful. I just want you to tell me what I need to know without making me feel awful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? That's really what we're saying. So, so we're trying now to bargain with God's truth. That's what we're trying to do in those states. And we need to be honest about the fact that we want to do that. I, I want to not feel awful. So, so like... I have said to you guys that while pain, the prevention of pain, is your primary decision point, no real progress is going to happen. And, that, and this is an example, Paul, the prevention of pain is what you're trying to do. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so while that is your primary point of decision, as, while that's the cho choice of the, or the exercise of your will to make that choice is happening, then it's highly unlikely God can share further information with you and therefore your progress will be very slow. Right? The key is to be able to feel and to have the confidence, isn't it, to feel all emotions that God wishes to share with you. Right? And the emotions that God's wishing to share with us a lot uh, will be quite confronting to us because God's opinion of what we've done is pretty, it's pretty intense. What we've done that's the reality what we've done is pretty intense in terms of damage to ourselves damage to others and and at some point we're going to have to feel it what the way i see it is if i feel it and i realize wow that's really bad you know and i go through the process of feeling how bad that was then can you see at the end of the day i probably will never do it again so an essential part to me making the decision to never do something sinful again is actually to feel the results of the sin. If I'm not prepared to feel the results of the sin, if I'm not prepared to feel God's feelings about what that sin is, is like, then, then I, I, I'm just not going to ever change because it's highly likely 
I will do that same sin again, put in the same circumstances. So, so yeah, Paul, that's, uh, that's the issue there. The issue, as I've spoken to you many times, is about allowing yourself to feel emotion and allowing yourself to feel emotion and sitting with feelings that even feel really bad, being able to feel them and allow yourself to be sensitive to them. Yeah, yeah thank that's, you. That's the thing that needs to change there. And, that, and, and to develop an aspiration to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. To firstly grow the aspiration to do that. At this point in time, the aspiration is not very strong. So you want to hear from God, you want to feel God's love, but you're in a bargaining issue, you're in a bargaining process with him about the truth. Right. And that needs to be given up. Yeah. Thank you. Yep.